Today I'm going to talk about sending email from a portal request ticket back into the Sherwell system. Uh, what, you can f what you'll find is if you try to send an email directly from the portal, oftentimes you'll get an error that the user is not allowed to send email. What I generally recommend is to utilize uh, a business process rule rather than a direct action to send emails from the portal. Uh, as an example, <coughs> showing this NDA request, there's a button here to update after, after an NDA request has been rejected by the technician and sent back to the customer. Um, initially when this was built, uh, this button also included an email action uh, associated with it. However, uh, was found that this was not possible because the anonymous browser or portal customer user is not allowed to send email to the system. So instead of actually adding it to this button, what we did was we went ahead and created a business process rule by setting a flag on the update request. I'll show you how that works on the back end. So as you can see, I'm here in my NDA request form. And again, originally this control had a one step behind it that included a that included a, a, an email. However, what we found is that what I needed was uh, to set a flag in the parent record or the incident. As you can see here, contracts request has been updated. Set that value to true. And then what we did was uh, we went ahead and created a separate business process. And as you'll see within that business process under our incident, object, uh, we have a notify owner on update. So if we take a look at what that business process does, when we make that flag that uh, NDA as updated by putting a true value in the incident flag for contract request updated, then we can go ahead and just send that notification out to the owner, basically stating that an update has occurred and that they should now be able to go in and deal with the ticket separately.